A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So it's the first Tuesday of the month of June, which means that we get a new asset pack rotation on the Epic Marketplace. This month we are given the stylized winter environment, the Mida furniture pack, the vintage room, the shanty town slums and the interaction system starter pack. As always you can find these by going to the free section over here and choosing free for the month and you'll get all of these assets available to you. And as long as you claim them this month or before the next rotation comes, they are going to be free forever. Um, let's take a look at this in closer detail. Starting off, we have the starter interaction pack and this one I have actually covered before uh, in collaboration with the creator. So if you want a little bit longer of an in-depth video uh, looking through this asset pack, uh, I'll link that in the description down below. Essentially how this works is you have a bunch of different blueprints in this uh, blueprint project, uh, which allows you to do a bunch of different things. Uh, one of them is you can interact with some objects in the world by picking them up and uh, moving them around. And you can also uh, use them to throw around and such things. You also have the ability to interact with other things, like in this case we have a control panel which links to this door, as does this pressure plate. So going on the pressure plate or placing an object on top of the presser pressure plate will both activate it so the door opens up. Uh, but you also have this control panel over here which you can uh, create or click on to activate it as well. On the inside we have the same control panel. So all of these three things are, three things are interacting with the same object. And you also have these red lights which are indicating that it's uh, open or closed as well. So they're all like talking to each other. Again, this is covered more in detail in the other video, but yeah. Uh, you also have some mugs you can uh, move around if you want to. You have some systems like over here, we have a pipe system connected to the pipes uh, where you can pick up this uh, pipe connector and you can drag it to uh, the, the pipe connection and it will slide into place. Uh, over here we have a break the glass, so we can use a object over here to place it on the button to open up this window and then we can take another object and throw it through the glass like so. You can see the glass, glass parts over there. Over here we have some doors, uh, you can interact with the doors if you want to, uh, or you can use the button here in this case, this door didn't seem to be activating through other means of the button, but they're giving examples of the door over there. Uh, in addition to that, we also have some destructible foliage. You can uh, interact with these by picking up the pick and then left clicking on them. You can see that they are destructing into different parts. You can see that the rocks, they destructed into small uh, parts of the, the rocks and the, the trees represented something that uh, contains some sort of loot. It spawned different actors as a consequence of it. Uh, you can also See a display here of uh, interacting with the rocks in a different, or in this case, the boxes uh, to destroy them to get through here if you want to. You can also mine the foliage and the rocks out here as well. Um, moving onwards, we have more breakables over here. We have a few different uh, objects as well. We have uh, the coffee pot again. We also have a gun which we can pick up and interact with. Uh, so, all of these. The pickaxe and the gun works in similar ways. They're objects that you are able to pick up and then they have different functionality when you left click them. Some more boxes, some synced inputs, which means that if you interact with one of the buttons, that means that the other button is getting communicated as well what the status is essentially. It's the same system that's working behind the lights on the door and such. Uh, and here we have some more snapping uh, functionality where we can place cylinders into a block and a cube into a block. And these also work in such a way that they are actually demanding the right kind of objects to be in there. So if we were to take a, a square block, we can't put it into the, the cylinder block. No, nothing actually happens. Uh, so yeah, that, that's a short overview over this project, which is probably the most exciting one in this month's bundle of packs. The rest of them are mostly going to be models, but like, let's take a look at them right now. First out among these asset packs that are basically just uh, models. Uh, we have a furniture pack. You can see here that we have a nice assortment of uh, couches and coffee tables and side tables and armchairs. 
and small knickknacks that accompany these as well so you have like different styles for all of these different furniture uh, chairs and tables and they're all high quality they are probably going to be used most likely for archvis i'm gonna assume uh, since they are high quality and give that some sense of feel to it but what do i know maybe you're making a a uh, game in a well-furnished uh, interior apartment or something of that nature uh, let's take a look at the overview of this here we are in the overview of the pack and you can see here the different materials that they are making use of from the wood paneling to the more metallic and marbled and even glass materials as well and then you have the different pillows and their pillowcases you have a bunch of different chairs some table ornamentation, some different uh, TV and other tables, all looking high quality and really nice. And there is a fair range of the different styles and types that they come in as well. So um, you should be able to uh, furnish a, a room that you're looking to make use of these uh, models fairly easy, I think. Next up we have the shanty town and you can see here that this is a slightly depressing pack in the way that well these are not great living conditions of course uh, but if that's something that you want to have in your game then this pack might be useful for you. You can see if we go out here that the amount of buildings and such that you make use of here isn't super large but you have a sort of small island here demonstrating what you can sort of accomplish. So you have a very small living area over here with some different buildings, all feeling very congruent with the different styles of the different houses. And uh, then you can also move here towards the water and you'll see we have some, some more stuff here and a stream here that doesn't look too healthy considering all the trash that's lying around. So that's what this pack is all about. Let's take a look at the overview. Inside of the overview here now you can see the different parts that these uh, buildings are consisting of. So we have, have a lot of different modular pieces so you can uh, create something yourself out of them. Uh, you don't have to stick to what they have created. We have some examples over here what they have been uh, able to create with this. Of course you can let your own imagination run wild. So you have uh, bricks and you have some uh, walls, concrete, tires, uh, roofings, yeah, all, all types of different assets available in the style of a shanty town. Next up we have the stylized winter pack and here you can see we get sort of vibes of a slightly older uh, looking architecture. Uh, zooming out we can see that we don't have a whole lot of buildings here but there are some with uh, quite some variation to what they're looking like and they all feel like they all belong together which is really nice and you also have some Christmas decorations around here as well with the feeling of uh, snow cold and dark so almost a Nordic normal day then so yeah uh, Pretty nice looking pack in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at what the overview looks like for this. Here in the overview map you can see a lot of different types of uh, assets that are made to create this. You can see a lot of uh, Christmas themed ones and winter themed ones as well. Uh, for doors and such and small knickknacks, some presents, Christmas trees etc. Uh, moving over here you can see that we have chimneys and walls and staircases and all types of um, roofs and such so everything here modular so you can create something uh, completely different from what we are shown in the demo scene which is really good uh, because it opens up the ability to create something that's more fitting to your style and you're not uh, forced to have one specific asset that looks the same as everybody else who has gotten to use their pack in their game or project and such. So that's very good of course here. So hopefully this will be useful too if this is what you're looking to use. 
Next up we have the vintage room and inside of this room, which is just a tiny little room here with some small models inside of it, we can see some high quality assets for um, what could be maybe a detective's room, a private investigator or something like that. Um, the problem I have with this pack and actually tends to be a common occurrence when it comes to this, uh, there is a group of uh, uh, modelers called Liartes which create very high quality content. Uh, however, we only tend to get these very small scenes when it comes to them. And I'd rather see less or none of that, just having either larger scenes or someone that's doing something different. Because even though the assets themselves are of high quality, uh, it, these few assets make it so that it is almost unusable for everyone because you really need to be niched into that and having just those few assets um, to make use of it at all uh, which is very rare of course but if that happens to be exactly what you're after then the few assets might not be enough for your needs at all so so the, it's slightly problematic with small asset packs like this even though they are of high quality so hopefully we will see less of this in the future from epic and either larger or uh, more varied packs when it comes to this. Anyway, uh, we don't have a permanently free collection uh, assets this month, so this is what we have available to us. Hopefully this was useful to you, and uh, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning, take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.